Hello everyone, today I want to make a quick video on how you can change your DJI Osmo action camera using five simple accessories and make it a full, miniature, powerful vlogging camera. I'm by no means a professional when it comes to cameras or anything like that, but when I have something and investigate and find out something handy that definitely does work and solves a lot of issues, I want to share with you guys. This to this. This is a DJI Osmo action camera. It's very small and compact. I'm not gonna do a full review on this because there's so many other people that are more techy than myself which have already done a review on these. I'm sure you can find them on other pages on YouTube. When I first got it, I had a problem with the sound and I had a problem with the lighting issue because it's an action camera. So I've done my research and I've got a few little gadgets which is a very cheaper alternative than using like GoPro gadgets and it works absolutely brilliantly. First of all, the most important thing is this case. So with the original case, it doesn't come with any horseshoe mounts, whereas this case comes with two, and it comes with a very big slot on the side where you can take off this part of the camera. Once you take this off, you can use this, which is a USB type C adapter the prices are on the screen along with the, all the product names and this goes in here like so and now what's, what the amazing thing is you're able to put your microphone slot it in here works very easily and plug it in now if you haven't got a DJI Osmo or you're planning to get one, you'll be thinking, why? Why do I need this? The sounding is very important. Anything that you can help with sounding, you should do. If I was to take it out, you notice the small microphone symbol up there. If I take it out, it will disappear. And if I pull it in, pull it back in, it will reappear. When I speak, you can see it moving up and down, up and down. That means the camera has read it. You can charge your DJI Osmo action camera while using the microphone also. So say for example, you're, you have it on a tripod, on a table. The microphone that I'm using is a Boya and I've used this one for most of my vlogs. It's fantastic, it does really help with all the sound in and with the wind noise. And after this, we're going to go outside, we're going to test it with the microphone and without the microphone so you guys can see the difference in a very windy condition. The price of this Boya microphone is also going to be listed right here. Now onto the selfie stick, which also acts as a tripod. Very small, very handy and very compact. I've done an actual full review of this selfie stick. The link will be in the information tag above if you want to click on the video to watch through to that. In low light, dark conditions, the DJI Osmo Action Camera does not produce very much good footage. It's very handy to have a light, an LED one. This one here is uh, 2000 milliamps and it slots right on the side and it's very bright. It will solve all your issues in low light conditions. Very small, very compact, can be put away. Boom, right in your pocket. Keep it moving to the next shot. Putting it away, it's not clogging up a lot of space. Same as the microphone, everything can come off very easily. You want quick, simple solutions. So I'm just out here in this massive park which is always generally quite windy for some reason so it's a perfect location in order to carry out the test for the microphone wind test for today so this is with the microphone on as you can see it's probably really really windy at the moment my hair is blowing I can feel it in my arms my top is blowing away and guys let me know how you how the sound sounds we're going to check it out in post-production after and I'm going to compare it and see the difference. So this is with the microphone unplugged. As you can see, the speaker icon has now disappeared. The wind is gusting past now. 
microphone, it makes such a large difference. It cuts out so much editing time, so much wasting time, so much noise. It's just, you gotta get used to it. Having a good microphone, a small, handy, pocketable one that you can just quickly chuck on your camera everywhere you go. And it saves so much time when you're just editing your videos. I'd like to share with you guys certain things that I find out that make things much easier while I'm progressing and learning. It's not just one scene, for example, one cutout there. What you'll have to do is take out the noise. You have to take out each and every section, which starts to become long, time consuming, and also very frustrating. Just get used to putting on a decent microphone on your camera. But guys, you tell me your thoughts, please. Let me know how you think the difference of the sound is. Hit the comments below and I hope that this video has been helpful for everyone. If it has, please hit the thumbs up. My channel is still quite new, so please click and subscribe. Journey with Ed, and I'll be bringing you more reviews and more journeys. So thank you very much.